Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stamp set, Your Clossum and its coordinating dies, and this set is so much fun, so let's check it out. So first up, we have this adorable crane machine filled with teddy bears, and of course we have the claw for the crane machine, and then we also have a cute little unicorn toy, a normal teddy bear, and then a teddy bear with a little sly smile to it. We also have these stars and hearts that can fit at the top of the machine there. So here are the stars. And then we also have these great little hearts. We also have really fun sentiments and a great font. So we have your a catch. Then we have your a winner. And we also have your one of a kind. Then we have have a clossum. And also very fun. And then we have day and also birthday, of course. We also have the word yay, which is great in front of yay, you're a winner. And we also have many thanks too. Now I'm gonna be using my Copic markers to color in these images. And what I'm doing is just using two markers and adding my darkest shade there on the outside and my lightest shade towards the middle. And this is the really, the way that I like to color these machines. It's nice and simple, but gives it a little bit of something going on. I added in another little red color there just to darken it up a little bit and now I'm going to blend in with my lightest color towards the middle. Now for the bears, I love using E31 and E34 and you'll see that I'm laying down my light marker first, then my dark, and then I'm going to blend that dark out. And I do three bears at a time, that way I can get them done pretty quickly. And then once again, I'll just blend out with my light marker. Then I like using toner gray for the machine parts because I feel like it really looks like a metal. And so I'm just gonna go around there with my darkest gray around the edges and then kind of blend in there where the bear comes out once you catch it. And then I'll continue on there onto the little joystick area too so that everything coordinates really nicely. I'll also color in the legs to match all of the different metal pieces of the machine. And then I added some turquoise there to the joystick. And I'm gonna be using BG10, 11, and 70 for the machine. And I like to make kind of little short strokes coming from either edge of the machine to make it kind of look like grass. So I'm using kind of straight strokes and it makes it look a little messy, but it gives it that glass looks. I think it looks really, really cool. Then I'll use the toner grays again for the cloth for the machine, of course, so we can kind of have everything coordinate. And then here is where you can really have a lot of fun, is coloring the animals that are cut by the claw. You can really kind of have a blast with it. So for the unicorn here, I'm making him kind of a dark turquoise, which I thought was really cute, and giving him a little rainbow unicorn horn. And then for the teddy bear, I'm just coloring it in a darker brown color so that it would stand out when the claw had grabbed it. And then you could have a ton of fun with the bears and just color them in crazy colors too. It just doesn't always have to be brown, which is really fun. Last but not least, I'll color in the hearts and the stars. I really like doing the hearts in kind of a rainbow order. And then the stars I did darker towards the outside and light towards the middle to kind of make it look like those arcade lights. Now here are the coordinating dies, which you can separate by bending apart at the tabs or using your wire snips. I'm gonna hold those dies in place with some low tack tape, and then I'm gonna run them through my die cut machine, cutting all of those images. And you'll see there we've got that awesome crate machine popping out. And then here is a look at all of the images from this set and how cool it is when you add that little crane machine and then you can have the crane machine hold the extra little stuffed animals. It's just so adorable. Oh my goodness, I love it. Now, one of my favorite things about this set is that it can be made interactive in actually two ways, both a slider and a shaker. So first we're going to start with the slider and I'm using my largest four bar die to cut some white cardstock and I'm going to stamp my crane machine right there in the middle and then I'm going to take my shortest straight slider die from slide on over and it's perfectly sized to fit inside the crane machine. So I'll hold it in place with some tape, run it through my die cut machine and you can see how that slider track has been created. Now I've gone ahead and colored my machine in the same way that I did earlier in the video and I've just trimmed down a piece of white cardstock to fit behind that crane machine and I'm actually going to color in the back of that paper to match the crane machine so with that same kind of gradient look we did earlier with darker red on the outside and lighter red on the inside and you can see when you layer them now it looks all continuous. I am going to stamp my machine there on some narwhal cardstock and then use my die to cut it out. But this time we're gonna use the negative of this shape. I'm gonna make a little pencil line there where I wanna cut the whole thing down. And this is gonna become the floor for my little crane machine there. 
I'm going to stamp the your one of a kind sentiment on there. And now I'm going to take my marker here and color in some cardstock. Then I'm going to trace my penny around with a pencil and cut out this shape. And this is so that we can add color to the penny so that the penny blends seamlessly in the background. So I'm going to add a little bit of glossy accents to that penny, add that red circle right on top and let that dry. Now it's time to form the slider. So I'm going to take my foam tape and I'm going to double it up because that's the trick for sliders. You need that double foam. It really helps the slider move well. And then I'm going to trim my pieces down to start going behind my crane machine there. So I'm going to have some big pieces there towards the bottom and then I'll be able to fill in around the penny. And I'm gonna put the penny there as a guide and I'm gonna trim down some thinner pieces of foam tape there so that it doesn't get in, a, in the way of that penny moving along that slider at all. So I'll trim down an even thinner piece for the top, just like that. And then now all of my foam has been formed. Now I'm taking another piece of doubled up foam and I'm trimming it to be the size of the penny. Then I'm going to take that penny there that's got the red cardstock on it and I can add my foam right to that penny and that penny is going to blend right in with the slider track. I'm going to take my powder tool and go along the edges of that tape to remove any stickiness and also I'm going to go along the track because that powder really helps that penny move really well into that track. Now I'm going to peel up all of that liner tape for that slider and I can add that piece there where I colored in the red part right to the back and you're going to see how it fills it in and looks completely seamless for this awesome slider to work. Now I can peel the liner tape up off the foam on the penny and add my little claw there to that penny and then I'll add my ground that we cut earlier right to the bottom there and then of course the unicorn has to go with that you're one of a kind. I thought it was cute if the crane claw there caught the unicorn. I'm going to add that into the crane and now create some peacock cardstock and some gummy bears paper here from the perfectly clad rainbow collection and I'll also create a card base there and layer all of these pieces on there. Now I've got a really fun background for this great crane machine and I can add some tape runner there to my whole slider mechanism, add that to the card and now you're going to see how cool that slider is. It is so much fun. I just love how it is moving and how the crane is just so clever, so fun, so different that I think it's just going to make anyone smile. So next I wanted to show you how you could take the same idea but make it just a flat card and not an interactive card. So I'm going to stamp the yay you're a winner which is actually sized perfectly. A lot of the sentiments fit at the top there of the crane machine. And I'm going to take the same idea with the fun little unicorn there and the claw but I'm just going to adhere those right down to the crane machine. And so here you'll see the slider version and then to the right is the more simple version. So I love that you can kind of do a more simple version or step it up with the interactive thing but yet still create the same card which is really fun. Now I went ahead and cut and colored out a ton of bears and another crane machine and another claw and we're going to make a shaker. And so the first thing we need to do is color in with the marker to match the crane machine. And this is my BG11 marker and I have my two and a half inch stitched square frame die which is sized perfectly for the crane machine. So we've sized it to fit the square frame and the slider die and now I've cut a two and a half inch piece of white cardstock and a two and a half inch square piece of acetate. Now the next thing I need to do is just trim off the, the middle of the little crane machine there and then we're going to layer those pieces onto the stitch square frame. So I've added some score tape there to the top and the bottom and I'm just going to line that right up with the bottom of the machine and then right up with the top of the machine and this is going to start creating our shaker. Then I'll take some more of that score tape and I'm going to go all the way around the edges of that stitch square frame. And then I can go ahead and peel up that liner tape and then attach the acetate to that square frame there. And this is going to create the window for our shaker. Now the next step is the foam and I'm going to triple up my foam. So here I'm going to double it and press it all the way across, lift up that liner tape and then fold it over one more time for triple foam. And that's really what you need, especially for these bears to move really well in that shaker. Then I'm going to trim this down into thirds so I have nice thin strips for going around that stitch square frame. So there you can see I'm lining it up right on the size there of that stitch square frame. I'm going to trim it down, peel up that liner piece and line them up, 
There's my third piece and now my fourth piece to create my foam frame. I'm also going to add tripled up foam to the rest of the crane machine too. And so now we're ready to create the shaker. So I'm going to take my powder tool and go all the way along the inside of that foam, making sure that there's no more adhesive. The powder will stick to anything tacky and make it not sticky anymore so that the things will move around better in the slider. Then we're also going to take powder and coat these bears really, really well. This is a big trick here because if not, they'll static cling to your whole shaker. So do it on the back and the front of each bear. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop those bears right there into that shaker. Now the next thing I'm going to add is some little star glitter and the little glitter really does help the bears move. So definitely add some glitter to your shaker because it's going to help those paper bears be kind of slick and move around each other. Now I've lifted up all the liner tape around just that square and then I'm going to line that two and a half inch square piece of white cardstock on the back and my shaker has been created. Now I started to think the shaker looked a little bit plain, so I decided to stamp out the little crane machine again, stamp some hearts in there. I'm gonna color those in in those same kind of fun pastel rainbow colors that are in the shaker machine, and then color in the whole thing there with my BG11 marker again. I can use the die to cut it out, and then I can go ahead and just trim that piece and I'm just going to line it up right over the other one and no one's ever going to know. So I'm just going to trim that piece right along the stamp line. I'll add some adhesive to the back and you see when I line it up on top, it really makes the machine look super cute. So I just, oh, I love that look. Now here I have some watercolor wishes paper cut with some, a stitched rectangle and then a simple stitch till side die. I'm going to layer those two on there together and then create a card base for this whole thing. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the inside in some bubblegum ink for have a Clawson birthday. And then I can go ahead and layer all of these pieces. So I've got my watercolor wishes paper with all the colors that kind of match the crane machine. Then I'm going to take a purple bear there and line it up in the crane, add some tape to the back of the whole thing, and at, attach that to my shaker. And that way the bears are going to kind of shake behind that whole bear that's been caught by the claw. So I'm going to peel up that liner tape, add some tape runner to the back of that shaker, and then I can line it up on my card. And I love this so much. It's so cool with those bears moving around. I just can't get over how adorable it is. And it's really fun to shake around. And those little stars really just make it super, super happy too. And I just love these pretty fun girly colors. I love that you can take the claw and depending on what colors you use, really kind of make a difference. And then here are the two versions, both the slider and the shaker. And I have to say this set is one of my favorites because my brother and I, we loved playing the crane machine. Oh my gosh, we would ask my grandparents for quarters so we could play the crane machine and we got really good at it too. We had so much fun with it. So